Apple has largely dominated the tablet market so far, but Samsung isn't pulling any punches with its latest tablet. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Galaxy Note 8.0 review. All of Samsung's Galaxy devices, from the smallest, low-end smartphone to the full-size Galaxy Note 10, share a strikingly similar design. And they're all built using the same quality hyperglazed plastics with faux metal trim. They feature the same capacitive back and menu buttons, with a physical home button in the middle. The Galaxy Note 8.0 is no exception. In the hand, it feels like a larger Galaxy Note 2, and it looks like a blown-up Galaxy S4. It's just the right size to hold one-handed in portrait with a firm grip, although it would be easier to hold if it were just a tad narrower. There are only two true sore points with the design. There is no excuse for the camera to be so accentuated seeing as it's not a primary feature, and the camera sensor itself is only 5 megapixels. There are larger camera sensors crammed in smaller devices that don't require a hump for the camera. And the speakers, along the bottom edge, are rather easy to cover up, unlike the Samsung-made Nexus 10 with front-facing speakers. The specifications on the Note 8.0 are solid. It has the same 1.6 GHz quad-core Exynos chipset as the Galaxy Note 2, 2 GB of RAM, 16 or 32 GB of built-in storage with a microSD card slot, and a 4600 mAh battery. But there's one specification that is undeniably poor, the display. It measures 8 inches diagonally, yet it only hosts a WXGA pixel resolution, 1280 by 800 pixels, for a rating of 189 pixels per inch. After staring at 1080p smartphones around 5 inches or smaller, slightly larger as well, everything on the Note 8.0 looks fuzzy. Individual pixels are visible and there is noticeable pixelation around the corners of icons and text. That said, and despite the fact that this is a TFT panel, not AMOLED, the color saturation is high, blacks are fairly inky, though still a little more gray than a true black, and contrast is relatively high. Unless you're a pixel junkie spoiled by smartphones with 300 to 470 pixels per inch, the display on the Galaxy Note 8.0 will suit your needs. Lastly, the S Pen is easily the standout feature of the Note 8.0. It's what makes it a Note over, say, just a Galaxy Tab. It's tucked away in the lower right corner, and haptic and audio feedback are provided when the S Pen is removed. Like all previous Notes, the S Pen is inductive, extremely accurate, and comes with a horde of S Pen-specific software features, but more on that in a bit. The Note 8.0 may not feature the best or most notable design and build quality, but it does pack a punch with some impressive specifications, and the utility of the S Pen. Software is where the Galaxy Note 8.0 truly shines. It ships with Android version 4.1.2 beneath the TouchWiz interface. If you've ever used a TouchWiz device in the past, the software on the Galaxy Note 8.0 will make you feel right at home. The interface, while upgraded for the larger display, is almost identical to TouchWiz on the Note 2, or even the Galaxy S4. From the notification shade down to the lock screen, mostly everything is the same. The same icons, wallpapers, widgets, and animations. The downside is content. Fortunately, more and more tablet applications are finding their way to the Play Store, but there is still a shortage of beautiful tablet applications, a content gap, if you will. And many, like Facebook or Spotify, still use the phone UI instead of the tablet-optimized layout. The best part of the software, however, is multitasking. It comes with multi-window on board, which allows two applications to run side by side. And with the S Pen, you can open S Note atop any application, open Quick Command, which allows you to open quick shortcuts or quickly search the internet, or annotate screen captures. These make great use of the larger display. Thanks to the monster specifications, the Note 8.0 purrs along just fine, cutting through graphic-intensive games and even everyday activities, such as browsing the web or taking notes, without a hitch. No sign of lag or stuttering was present in our time with the Note 8.0, and it performed decently well even in synthetic benchmarks. Inside, the Galaxy Note 8.0 has a 4600 milliamp hour battery keeping the show running. In our time with the device, the battery performed quite well, easily lasting a full day of moderate to heavy usage. Remember, there's no wireless data to consume power, only Wi-Fi. The standby time is great. That said, if you crank up the brightness and get those four cores running at full speed for, say, graphic intensive games, the battery will drop rather quickly. The speakers on a media tablet are vital. The speakers on the Note 8.0 are plenty loud and only slightly tinny. The problem is their placement. They're towards the bottom and entirely too easy to cover up by accident. 
I found myself accidentally covering them up playing video games, even just listening to music or watching videos. So their placement is pretty poor. Lastly, the camera. It's a tablet with a 5 megapixel sensor, so you can't expect superb quality pictures. It's mainly going to be used for snapping pictures in a pinch, maybe of documents, or showing people on a video call your point of view. But if need be, the camera performance on the Note 8.0 isn't bad. The color reproduction is great, low light performance is mediocre, and details are pretty lacking. But for a tablet, something that's not primarily used for taking pictures, it's nothing to scoff at. At the end of the day, the Galaxy Note 8.0 isn't necessarily the best designed tablet, and it doesn't exactly feature the best build quality we've seen in a tablet. Chances are, it won't be the cheapest either. It hasn't launched here in the States yet, but the Wi-Fi model in the UK is selling for £340, or roughly $520. US dollars. However, it packs quite a wallop. If you can look past the low-res display, it features some of the best specifications we've seen in a mid-sized tablet, or any tablet for that matter. Its performance isn't off the charts, but it handles even the most graphic-intensive games without breaking a sweat. We give the Galaxy Note 8.0 a 7.4 out of 10. That's all we've got for now, so if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more Galaxy Note 8.0 coverage. You can also find us on all of your favorite social networks, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook, at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.